and welcome back to a new video about plants. Yeah? Last time we talked about the directives. Yeah? We said we talked about what needs to be done and there we have seen the meshing directive. And the first sentence, sentence in Annex 1 of the machine directive, machine redirective of the Euro European Union is the manufacturer of machinery or as an authorized representative must ensure that a risk assessment is carried out in order to determine the health and safety requirements which apply to the machinery. The machinery must then be designed and constructed, constructed taking into account the results of this risk assessment. First sentence, do a risk assessment. Okay. This is always the case. This is always the case. So, what is a risk assessment? Yeah. What is a risk? Yeah. Well, we have to do, to do different steps. Yeah. Really, we have to do different steps. Uh, first step. Yeah. Claim. Yeah. Claim management. Yeah. What is mine? What is not mine? What is covered by my machinery? What is not covered by my machinery? This sounds now really, I don't know, obvious. Yeah? However, it's not always that obvious. Let's say I'm designing a cabinet, a control cabinet, yeah? with some power parts inside and there is a motor inside and, and, and so on. Yeah? I deliver my machinery to the site to on site yeah it will be erected there and everything connected and so on yeah everything working fine and suddenly there's a fire starting yeah because simply the connection line the power supply line to my machine was too small yeah or was not done proper or whatever yeah so st a fire started there who this is my fault, yeah? because my machine took too much energy, yeah? or is it not? Is the power line included in my scope or not? So it's really a matter of scope, not just obvious, yeah? it's a matter of scope. And we have to write it down. What is the scope of the risk analysis? First step, okay? First step of the risk analysis, yeah, determine the scope. What is the scope? Yeah? What is what is inside the risk analysis and what not? And document this, of course. Yeah? Document this. And then we have to identify dangers, okay? Hazards, dangers, jeopardy. Yeah. Identify dangers. Dangers which come from my machinery, okay? That's the next step. Identify the dangers. What risks are risks? Are, oh, uh, dangers. What dangers are there? Yeah? May I clamp a hand somewhere? Yeah? May I cut get cut off? Whatever. Yeah. So, what potential dangers, threats coming from my treats, threats, treats, yeah? Yeah? come from my from my machinery. And then I make the risk estimation. Huh? Risk estimation. And after the estimation, I can make the assessment. Yeah. 
what is a risk. Yeah? Here I've written identify dangers and then I do a risk estimation. Not all dangers are very likely. Yeah? So there are dangers. There is the danger that, I don't know, I'm struck by lightning. Yeah? High danger. A high impact, yeah? so there is a lot of damage done if something is struck by lightning. However, the likelihood is not that high. Yeah? There's a risk that I cut my finger with paper. Yeah? So the danger or the, the amount, the amount of damage is not very high, let's say. A little bit injured maybe, maybe even bleeding, yeah? but yeah, I will not lose the finger, probably. Yeah? Uh, however, you know, the probability is higher than struck by lightning. Yeah? So a risk, risk, is usually the Schadensausmaß, so, so the damage, yeah? the potential damage, multiplied by, by the likelihood, yeah? how likely, or the, the frequency, yeah? let's call it, how frequent those things are. Yeah? So a risk is somehow combining the damage, potential, so the potential damage to frequency of occurrence, yeah? how likely it is that it will be there. Yeah? That's a risk. Yeah? If something has high damage and is very unlikely, the risk is low. If something has low damage, but it's very likely, also the risk is quite slow, low. If something has high damage and will occur very often, yeah? danger, yeah? high risk. Okay? So this, is, this risk estimation is then, how I estimate how often those dangers will happen, yeah? how likely they are, and then I make the assessment, is this risk high or not? Yeah? And then I can decide, is my Is my machinery safe? Or it should be written that way, right? Is it safe? If everything is safe, yes. Ping, ping. Me make it. Yeah? Make it so. Okay? If not, take measures. Take measures to lower the risk, okay, and then start over. So it's some sort of circle. That's risk assessment. Risk analysis, this here, this here is risk analysis. And the whole thing is then called risk assessment. Okay. That's risk assessment. How can I identify dangers or how can I identify threats? Threats? Treats? I don't know how to pronounce this. Yeah. How can I identify this? Well, there is uh, the deductive version. Yeah. One possibility. It's called deductive. What is deductive? So, deductive means there is an, an end result. Yeah? You, as you think about an end result, uh -huh, this and this is the final destination, let's call it. Yeah? So this is, 
is, is the result. Okay, you have a result. Imagine result. And then think about what must potentially happen that this result is really happening. Okay? Think what needs to happen. To reach this result. So we're thinking about some effect, yeah? and then you think about what needs to happen that this effect is taking place. Yeah? That's the deductive method. And there is also an inductive method. Yeah? Which color? Green. Inductive, deductive, yeah. Inductive means exactly the other way around. Yeah? We say one group is failing. Yeah? And then we think about what might be the consequences of this element failing. Yeah? So, element is failing. Think about the consequences. Think about the result. Consequences of this failure. Okay? So, one side, we say this is the consequence. What must happen that we reach this deductive? Other side, something is failing. What are the potential outcomes of this? These are two different methods. Uh, yeah, take measures. We are going to talk about what measures might be taken to lower risks. Yeah? This will be in later videos. Yeah? Uh, in next videos, we are dealing then with uh, so-called risk graphs. Yeah? We are will do two different approaches, how we can somehow risk estimation, risk assessment, how we can get figures, numbers out of it. I mean, it's just now I made this multiplication, but how can we deal with this? Yeah? Is there really, how can we categorize this? Is this low risk? Is this medium risk? Is this high risk? Or what, it, you know, you, we, we give, we have to give numbers there somehow. Yeah? We have to find categories. This then will be in the next videos. Yeah? There are two different things we are going to talk about. There's the safety safety There is the <laughs> performance level one yeah? and then and now I try it again. Safety integrity level. Ooh, now it's really beyond my lips. So there is the SIL and there is the PL. We are talking about both of them in the upcoming videos. Okay? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.